What's going on? Um. Hey, what was that? Uh, um. Yeah, it had to be. This is her ego. Alter ego. Is this some stupid virus on that stupid guy? There's a plan in it. He invaded my network. Damn it all to hell. I don't believe this. It would seem. It seems you finally made a miscalculation. No, you miscalculated from the very beginning. What the heck? What was that? In other words. What I'm saying is you shouldn't have underestimated us. Why are you talking like you already won? I barely felt a thing. It was a pinch. An itch. The stupid virus is gone now. Got it. And so is Makoto. Maybe I didn't get to smash him flat, but you're never going to see him again. Yeah! Waste away in a garbage shroom pit. In a way, that's an even better special punishment. <laughs> But it's still not enough. I'm still not satisfied. I'm still gonna bring despair to the rest of you. Bring despair to the entire world! <laughs> uh, um... Is he gone? <laughs> hey, Kyoko, what's the meaning of all this? Just what the hell is going on? Calm down. It's okay. We're not the ones being trapped this time. Huh? Huh? In other words... Now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. What, what did you say? So... You'll understand soon enough. Very soon, indeed. There's a bad alternate ending if you expose Kyoko. Okay. <laughs> so we avoided it. Nice. The massive high school towers all over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy brings in top students from every field ima imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. They say if you come here and manage to graduate, you're to be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, since the cream of the crop into the world. We've had, this was the beginning of the game. I was... It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best of what you do. No ordinary student would have, could enroll here. The only way in is if you're is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students, was me. Mm -hmm. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body felt heavy. It wouldn't be weird for me to zonk out in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing to sleep here just now? It wasn't any classroom I've ever seen before. What the heck is going on? Yes. Finally. Chapter 5, Time Unknown. I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together again, and then I was awake. Or was this just another dream? A dream inside a hopeless nightmare? No, this isn't a dream. I could tell because the stench invaded my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. It was in a vast, dark cavern with the barest hint of light seeping in. Trash is piled high across the area. There, this must be some kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in. But that was just the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be stuck in here till I wasted away and died? No, I can't let that happen. Not after what my good friend went through to save me. I remembered all too well what had happened. Alter Ego saved me. And he used up the last little bit of his strength to do it. So I can't give up now. For myself and for my friend. And with that, my pursuit of survival began. First, up was to start looking for a way out of here. Oh, cool. We get, we get to look for a way out of here. Well, let's look in this pile of junk. Probably the one I fell down here on. How did I not die? 
That's a rocket in a tank. I better not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. That's an airplane? How does something like that wind up in the school's garbage pit? I guess we're supposed to probably look at the door. Like, the most obvious exit is the door, right? Rattle, rattle. It's locked. Rattle, rattle. No matter how many times I pushed or kicked or pulled, it added it didn't budge. Getting out of here isn't going to be that easy. Well, if I'm not gonna be getting out of here anytime soon, I decided to look around for some food. There's plenty of food in here, but it's all rotten. Gross. But that was pointless too. Next I search for some water. How can I be sure which liquids I drink? I can drink and which ones are all around bad idea. Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked in on all sides. Probably smell them. But that's just not enough reason to give up because, because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was go to sleep. My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was, that was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had passed. And all I did was sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign. Not exactly. Maybe it was a sign, like a literal sign. What the? A strange sound pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched, the pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Did something fall down over there? Something fell from above. What could it have been? It, it, it's trash. It might be good trash, though. Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? It looks like a lot of trash. I carefully stretched my hand out toward whatever it was that had tumbled down here with me. Can I? Am I blind now? Just a second. A giant piece of trash? Rude. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. It smells awful. Oh, she's got a cup of noodles on her head. That's a that's 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 quite that look the hat. <laughs> Yo, oh. Indeed. You like your you like you look like you're doing better than I expected. Well, what are you doing so... here? Is it obvious I'm here to help you? Glad to hear that, Kyoko. Um, you got a bit of garbage in your hair. She gave her head a quick, sharp shake to get rid of the trash and face me again. Oh, there goes her hat. First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you've finished. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you. Okay, let's up the food counter now. I snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me. Within seconds, it was in my mouth and making his way toward my stomach. I think that's the second time that we've officially said we ate in the game. Whew, that just really hit the spot. Now I've got all the energy I need to keep going. <laughs> she still haven't given up then. Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is about all I'm good mm -hmm. at. Well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. All right, I, I mean, I guess we talked to her. But Kyoko, why'd you come to rescue me? So... To pay a debt, or no, to atone. Atone? You. During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So you knew that I knew. Indeed. But even though I knew, I did nothing to help you. Um... I abandoned you. Don't say that, you didn't abandon me. No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me, and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. However... But listen, not that I'm trying to make excuses, but... There was a reason that I had to survive, no matter what the cost. Why did you have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you, I'll tell you everything. The reason I have to survive... In other words... Is that... Is so that I can do what I came to do to... To the school to do. What? I made my mind to come to Hope's Peak Academy for one very important reason. So you have some reason for coming to Hope's Peak? Indeed. That's right, at least I did once. 
once. I... Until recently, I'd forgotten what it was. You forgot, but that's... Huh? Amnesia? Then, is it really true you lost your memory? Makoto. You do remember, Makoto. Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at the school? First thing? You're talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted, and when I woke up, I was trapped here. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself, a disconnect. It would seem... Thinking back to on it now, at that point, my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to the school, and, it was, and, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would, but what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happening happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because... I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the mastermind. They stole my memory. But why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I can come up with it. Because of my purpose and my ability. Somehow they would interfere... Somehow they would interfere with the mastermind's plan. The mask might just stole them from you? However... And it could also mean somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of the school and the mastermind. Which is why I have to get them back. That's why I ha I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? Why is that? If I did that, and we all worked as one, the mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus... There's always the chance that the mastermind is actually one of us. What? Correct. Well, don't make too big of a deal of it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? The mastermind? One of us? If she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into missing her missing memory by herself. However... That being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. Why me? <laughs> because among everyone, you were least likely to be the mastermind. It was, it was just intuition, but... I see. Your intuition was right, though. There's no way I'm or an ordinary kid like me could have been the mastermind. I... understand. I do? I should understand everything my goal isn't to get out of here it's to stay here it's just like the dream i had before but why did that just happen listen are you okay oh yeah it's uh, nothing it is nothing right hey even now i still trust you you know it's just i'm not used to relying on others Correct. I know I never ask you for help, for help the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. <coughs> I think that's just her personality. You said you had a reason for doing all the investigating on your own. So how'd that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... I think there's still a lot I don't remember, but... At the very least, I was finally able to recall my purpose and my ability. You mentioned your ability. I... My ability, what everyone should have known me for, is the, I'm the ultimate detective. I figured she was something like that. The ultimate detective? And the reason I came to Hope Peak Academy was... Uh, there was someone I had to find here in the school. You had to find someone who? So... Well, it was the headmaster of Hope Peak Academy. The headmaster? Why did you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my father. What? In other words... I was separated from him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Kyoko's dad is Hope Peak's headmaster? And that explains when Alter Eagle told us he thought the headmaster was involved. I. I'll find a way. That's huh? I... No matter what it takes, I'll find the headmaster, no matter the cost. So, um. See, that was a while ago. I... That flashback, I think, is relevant. That was a while ago. 
My memory hadn't come back at that point, but when he said that, I felt strange. Makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose of coming here was to find him. That makes sense. However, But listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear so there's no misunderstanding. I said the Hatsmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that, that to protect him. I only said that said what I felt based on what I've seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. Then, what did you see in there? So... The room had been ransacked. The shelves were a mess, the desk drawers dumped on the floors. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything has had... was had... was had been in there. Such a weird... Word. Okay, yeah, I know, I know what they're saying. Just a weird... English. You mean the mastermind, right? It's true. That was my assumption, yes, and to confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. This is some kind of map. Indeed. It's a layout of the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. I found it in the headmaster's room along with uh, Kuro's profile on that key. The map showed that the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant for faculty use. Some of the staff must have had to stay overnight from time to time, and I figured the headmaster would have some kind of private room there. I assumed that if I assumed that if that were true, the room would likely hold more clues, so I went to check. Correct. And that's when I finally remembered. I remembered that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So you went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there? However... But once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the dorms... ...didn't have any cameras or monitors. So what was it like? What that part of the school, I mean? It's hard to describe. All I can say I... is, the moment that I saw it, I realized... ...whatever is going on in the school is more horrific than we ever imagined. What do you mean? So... I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself, and I'm sure you'll get your chance soon enough. Sounds like it must be important. And really ominous. However... Of course. Which is why I had no idea what was going on in the rest of the building. That has to do with, uh... Makuro, doesn't it? However, Just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. And I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right, but that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi. So then who did kill her? Anyway. What I can say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. Yeah, obviously. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Makuru was to get me killed. To get you killed? Indeed. I saw that key and disappeared. In retaliation, they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. Right. That was the point of the class trial. It was? The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean because of the school regulations? That's right. Exactly. In other words... The mastermind is adamant about following the rules, and with that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules? That makes it sound like the mastermind themselves is somehow bound by the school regulations. Hey. There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Maku Makuru Ro. What's that? There was a point where Makuro may not have been the victim. Could have been you, Makoto. Could have been- I could have been the victim? Indeed. You know what I'm talking about, right? Do you mean... During the night? I... I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the God of Death. What? I can hear the God of Death as he moves. The ability naturally draws me into cases just like this. Anyway... That's exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms, and I had a sudden sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell, and I saw a white shadow cross the corridor. I gave chase right away. As I followed it, I saw the shadow go into your room. Correct. I ran into your room, and I saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. However... 
that wasn't the end of things, of course. Your thoughts on the game so far? I stopped it, but that led to whoever the Master Saiyan was, they ended up dead. Correct. And their murder was disguised in the dojo he wound up in my room. It was all the work of the mastermind, an attempt to use the flash rattle and the So all this would mean that whoever killed Makuru is also the mastermind, Indeed. right? I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. But that's well, that's really bad. True. That means the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. it doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use a class trial to try to kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? Correct. Right. That is a contradiction. But that's not just Makuru. Makuro. They need the class trial to kill me, but seem ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. So what does it all mean? In other words... It means that the mastermind is the one who's been cornered. Huh? Makoto. Just a little more. A little more, and it should be... We should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. The identity of the other ultimate despair. The other ultimate despair? There's no doubt that Makuro was the ultimate despair, and that she's dead. But I don't think that the ultimate despair is just one person. It's not. Indeed. Think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking about That's right. what happened to Yuriko, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy who's ever responsible for that. They're the ultimate despair. The despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Then there Indeed. make no mistake. They're the root of all evil that has forced us to go through this. That is the ultimate despair. The worst event in human history ever. I know, I I find some people being killed at the school being the ultimate, the worst event in human history. Ah, uh, yeah. Pro I, no. And that is our real enemy. Hey, we just finished chapter five. What the heck? This game is jank. That was unexpected. I did, I did not expect to finish chapter five. I got, okay, that, that kind of looks inappropriate. I, I thought there was a lot less, there was a lot less yammering than I expected. <clears throat> the ultimate despair. A group of people who caused the tragedy one year ago, those same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting around the world. Most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now... Anyway... Right now we have to get out of this horrible place. Figuring out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, you're right. We have a way to open this door. Do you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Indeed. Of course I am. Then it's absolutely vital part of steering the mastermind. I would never part with it. And you can open any door in the school, right? That's right. Then we should be able to use it on that door, right? Hey, Kyoko. You can use that key of yours to open this door, right? It's true. Let's find out. We got the key, and then click. Wow, we're so smart. Yes, it opened. Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Finally, we were finally free. But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief because the real fight had just begun. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. 
That's what this chapter's called. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending, extending straight up like a chimney. There was a metal ladder leading up to the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder and sent on reaching the surface. Started climbing the ladder, and yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. The ladder wasn't possibly long, and couldn't even. I couldn't even see where it ended. Interesting angle to pick for the uh, view of us climbing the ladder. I will say that right now. We climbed into the darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea where we were so far down. Don't lose your footing. If you slip. It won't be... I won't be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll be careful. Now that I've said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will help ease my mind. Um, so, Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. You said you were the ultimate detective, right? So, how long have you been de doing detective work? How long? So... Ever since I can remember. I came from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen that. Yeah, so my 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 father was a detective. My father before him was a detective. My father before him was a detective. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? right? So, because we take pride in it. Pride. Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. <laughs> yeah, we only marry detectives. Keep the line pure. <laughs> we represent neither justice nor evil. This is how we can uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things. And to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we made it... Conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort. It's true. Kind of old-fashioned, and I'm kind. Of, it's kind of old-fashioned. I can't say it's entirely rational, but it's our family creed, and we do what we must do to protect it. Because, like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride. So that explains it. Before I came here, when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. <laughs> However, and yet, I gave up some of that pride, huh? I. In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kiri Giri detective would never do. But the reason you gave up that pride, the reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak, it was because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect. I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father, huh? But you'd be you re but you'd be re reuniting after all these years, right? You would have had so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However, there's something I want to say to him, though. What? I. No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. What is it? So. I want to sever all ties with him. Sever. I know, I said it was an interesting angle. The last time I saw him, I was still very young, so I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. He was talented, he had a promising future, However, but he had no interest in detective work, so he cut himself out of the family. Not long after that, my mother died, and he simply ran away. He went. He went to my grandfather, and they had a huge argument. And young as I was, he left me behind. Uh, I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me, because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. <clears throat> I take pride in my family name, and every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I'd gone with him, I would never have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression. 
But I, so I couldn't tell, I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that, compared to her usual self, she was much more talkative and more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's why, that's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not However. true. However. But there's one thing, one thing that I can never forgive. Really? Why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do this at the end of chapter five instead of the beginning of chapter six? I'm wondering. Really? So. The way everyone else looked at me, I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good. However. Thing. But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as the little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me even to this I... day. His shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. Correct. That's why I have to find him and tell him we're no longer family in order to settle the past. In order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. But your family, they just cut him out like that. Wrong. Our only connection is through blood, nothing more. We were connected. Are we connected by heart and soul? Hey. No. This blood, is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that. I didn't know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. And after I, I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. It's, it's my butt. Looks like this is Indeed. it. On the other side of this door, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We're back. That's right. Remember that hatch on the ground near the trash room? I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. I unlocked it earlier, so it should open without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I reached right, I reached my right hand up and pushed against the hatch. The hatch opened with ease, and so... Looks like we're back! <sighs> but I can't believe how long that ladder was. I, I'm exhausted. I can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back at Hope's Peak Academy. Kyoko, thank you. I never would have gotten out of there without you. <laughs> no, thanks necessary. I was just returning the favor. Is there a camera in here? So what do we do now? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if the mastermind finds out, and I'm worried about it, that you too, you helped me, so they might- Listen. You're worried? Yeah, of course. So then. Then let's, then let's get a concrete answer, huh? In other words. Let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Wait, that's- However. If we try to hide, it's only a matter of time until we're found out, and it's not like we can run away. <clears throat> As she said that, she pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. So, you're saying rather than stretching out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry. What you think is going to happen? What you think is going to happen isn't. Because... Because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared. You said something like that before. What does that mean? So... Hey, Gregory. I need I need to adjust it to not do that. Actually, the mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Makuru's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. It should count up to 99, and then maybe switch to days. There was right. If we can talk to Monokuma, he we can confirm it, and that'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. It should help with our negotiations. I'm still a little, no, super uneasy about this, but we don't really have a choice, do we? Indeed. Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall we go? Let's get going. Okay, I guess we're going to the gym. Or the guy. 
as we call it. We have this door. This must be the second floor of the dorm. To the guy. To the guy. What's a guy? Well now, well now, well now. Kyoko, I don't mind so much. I don't believe it! But Ma... Makono's supposed to be dead! What's he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay? Boom, boom. You were supposed to be punished. Did Kyoko help you? What? So what if I did? What will you do? If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. That's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again. This time I won't give anything to chance. Kyoko! Right. Do whatever you feel you have to. What? However. Before you do, let me just say one thing. If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Huh? I lose. Hey! You, explain yourself. What do you mean by that? Because... Well, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill me. In other words... I was supposed to be chosen as the black and then an execute, right? Yeah. Hey, what are you talking about? However... But when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting, because you never imagined that in that position one person would protect another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. you reacted by pro proclaiming Makoto the Blackened and trying to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation. No, more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. However... But then, there was another unexpected development waiting for you. The entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery, Alter Ego. You never imagined the possibility of a being that could come to our aid even after you killed it. Am I wrong? Now, here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill... Makuru, you did. Listen to me. So executing Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the Blackened is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Hmm. And that means I lose? You talk a big game. You're saying the Blackened is me and not Makoto. Well? You can prove this, right? Well. No, I can't. Just say it like that. Yeah. What is this? A comedy routine to make such bold claims without a shred of evidence? That doesn't matter. I don't have any right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there is only ever one absolute truth. Poom, poom. And now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type. Because if Makoto really was the killer, he would never have come to you willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair you love so to inspire. However... But here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. What the heck? And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence? Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Huh? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Dakota. They would assume that you killed him because the, what we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. <laughs> hey. Of course, you could say we're just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. 
no, you have no choice but to prove it, because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. If you want to earn our despair, fair and swear, then I suggest you take, take my advice. So, what is this advice of yours? It's true. To do Makuru's trial over again. Only this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for this one time, last showdown. It's time for one last one showdown. Final one battle final battle between hope battle between and hope despair. And despair. And she said it, and I said it at the same time. I didn't realize she was going to say hey. it. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? Yeah. A fair trial, one last showdown. In other words our last chance to expose the true identity of Makuru's killer or of the mastermind themselves. But what reason would the mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. <laughs> interesting. Bear it! Very interesting indeed. Very. Hey, a pun. What's wrong? Oh, I was getting so bored, so I did this. I just did change things up a little bit. So, time for bear jokes. Now, what you suggested might be plausible. <clears throat> it would certainly make for one honey of a climax. In other words, does that mean you accept? You guys! If we do things your way, you'll be you'll, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? <laughs> Will your hope win out? Or will my despair claim victory? I can barely contain myself! Let's have myself. one final grizzly showdown. He agreed? <clears throat> then we have a shot at this. Bear it! Well, this is the long-awaited climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a city. You guys! So for the real final face-off, you'll have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries. <laughs> that's right. Every last mystery that's pawing around the school. If you can do that, I can barely contain myself. Then it'll be enough to qualify as a victory for you. My God. It's true. That's what we've been trying to do all along. <laughs> okay. Well, good. Then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of the Kuro's death. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Solve the mysteries of the school. You guys! Then you win! <laughs> but you can't do all of that. We'll all face execution, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? <laughs> or as excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. When we've uncovered every last truth, how can the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this has all turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that. For sure, so what? Hey. I just want to confirm, that is what you said, right? And that's a true statement. <laughs> you don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations. And having a trial for Makuru is no exception to that. Huh? This trial is no exception, then it's part of the regulations, which would have to mean that whoever killed Makuru... <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in hope speak since the killing game began are those 16 students. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why did he go quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> now I'm really I'm done talking. Great. I've got nothing left to say to you. So get lost, would ya? Why so mad? <sighs> he seems emotionally unstable. Hey! Leave me alone. Get out of here. Okay, I'm going. I just... You're really gonna let me go. 
Yeah. I don't even care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. You need to start getting ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> that was a lot. You 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 were adding on to the bear puns, Gregory. Come on, Makoto, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Bonakuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as he wa we walked away, and just like that, we were out of the game. The Gaim Lobby. I can hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. I still had my life, and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than I expected. I mean, if you expect to be squished by a thing and you don't get squished, maybe I'm the mastermind. Once again, I was in Kyoko's dad. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because However, of you. Don't think just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. <gasps> but still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy, enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? So... They had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because... It's all because of... That one moment that the Master Round let down their guard, like I said. So when was it that the Master Mind let down their guard? So... I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the Master Mind said? They said that they had hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely said that. Listen. And what did they... What did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. Indeed. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. However... And yet, somehow, the Master Ryan was able to do it. In other words... And I think of it... And think of it another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. A reason? So... They had to show the world something, no matter the cost. Us killing each other. They wanted to show the world? It would seem... The Mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. In other words... So the Mastermind's ultimate goal is to make us kill each other and show off that... show that off to the world. But why? Correct. To prove a point, most likely. Prove a point? Hey. The outside world has a name for the students of Hope's Peak Academy. The world... The outside world has a name for the students of Hope's Peak Academy, right? A certain concept? You're talking about hope, right? That's right. And for those of us who represent hope to kill each other and sink into despair. Claire is here. The Mastermind wants the world to see that and try to prove that despair is better than hope. That's their goal is the ultimate despair. What? They want to prove that despair is better than hope? But that that's ridiculous. It's true. You're right, it is ridiculous, completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody, but those who call themselves the ultimate despair, would devise. Claire's the true mastermind. The group whose only purpose and motivation comes from the despair. I mean, she is black and white. And I do call her a bear sometimes. Because it rhymes with Claire. The group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair, but is that really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? Makoto. I know how angry it must make you, and yet that same motivation is what led to the mastermind revealing their weakness. 
Right. In other words... Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. The Mastermind has had to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulations. If the Mastermind simply ignored their rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At the very least... At least that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. That's why the Mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves. Indeed. That is precisely the reason. No matter how much they had, they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of their regulations. Junko broke the rules, so she was punished. But in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. Right. So instead, they tried to use the class trial following all their proper rules to get me killed. They began a trial that didn't have a right answer, then made me out to be the killer. But even that didn't work. It's true. Yes, thanks to you, and due to that failure, the Mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. When that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the Mastermind had to accept your suggestion. Indeed. To prove to the world that despair is better than hope, they have to defeat us in perfect form. In other words... It would only... It would only do the Mastermind harm to have it shown that they violated their own regulations. But all of that was a hunch, right? And you are still able to get the Mastermind to accept your challenge. However... Well, it's only thanks to you that we got the chance, because you believed in me. Another path opened up. Still, I haven't... I can't believe how much of the Mastermind's thoughts and plans we were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. Wrong. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. <sighs> but it looks like I got it right, this time at least. I won the bet. She let out a quick sigh. Took... I took it as a small sign of relief. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seemed totally confident from the moment we decided to well, go to talk to him. <laughs> well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Plus, if I showed my uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However... Anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Correct. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. We can't defeat the Mastermind. It'll cost us our lives. There is no option except the win. Hey. Well, before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True. But, but now we know who our real is. All we have to do now is work together with everyone to destroy the Mastermind. Work together with everyone. However... Is that really possible? Huh? Anyway... Anyway, right now we have to find the others. Shall we go? They're probably in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? Alright. Anything else I can talk to you anyway. about? Okay. I guess we're going. Claire, we're going. Claire's still on my lap. freak someone out and suddenly we were greeted with you again is he broken i suppose his emotional instability reached its limits okay jeez what the heck however i wonder what that was all about I couldn't help but let out a sign of relief. Ah! Is that Makoto? Hey, look! It's the it's the it's it's the gang of 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 of, of dinguses. It's the dingus gang. The dingus gang reunites. What's about? You, you guys! It is. There's no two ways about it. That's Makoto. You survived? 
Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? Everyone was there. All my friends who had struggled together and survived. Wait, we're calling these people our friends? Okay. I, I don't think... I don't know about... Especially the two on this side. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. What? Wait, what's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, I mean, that seriously stinks. <laughs> it's Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. Yeah. Get away. And in a flash, my tears dried up. All right, now let's talk to... Let's talk to... Makoto. There's no time to indulge in a student happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened. Yes. Explain? Explain what? Hmm. But is it okay that but is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches it's you? It's true. That's related to what I need mean. to tell you. We need to tell you all about the last class trial. The last crash trial. In other words. We're going to redo the Kuru's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? No, I didn't do it. Like I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer, and of course it's not me or any of you. <laughs> then who is it? I see. What she's saying is it was all the work of the mastermind. Huh? What? You're saying the mastermind killed Makuro? That's right. That's right. It was all an elaborate trap contrived by the mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what he had to do to stop it. Had to to, to stop it. Had to to stop it. What he had to to stop it. Okay, I guess that actually does make sense. However, but his decision meant that he <clears throat> would be the one to die. What, what did you say? Trap, did you, Makoto? I make it sound like it was easy. I, I just, you know. However, but executing Makoto, who wasn't the Blacken, is a clear violation of school regulations. The rules state that only the Blacken is to be executed. The Mastermind broke their own rules. Which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. Huh? And the Mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? Hmm. They had no choice but to agree. They used the TV broadcast to gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? Well, Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now it's the Mastermind that's in Snicker. That's what you were referring to. Don't be mean! Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again later. <laughs> so knowing all of this, what do we do now? About that. It's about who killed... Ukuro, right? It's our job to expose the Mastermind. Hmm. But there's more to it than that, correct? <clears throat> um, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Every last mystery? Like, why? What's that stain on the floor over there? What? But we've been looking around all this time and we still don't know anything, right? Anyway. You probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, every di everyone dies. Oh, everyone. No. I hate you. Hey, who said you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of us? Yeah. I'm fine with things the way they are. I'm fine living here forever with masters. I mean, I mean, I want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway. Anyway, at this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. <laughs> In other words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. But... We're figuring out who the Mastermind is and how they killed Makuru. And all the school's mysteries. <sighs> it's a pretty tall friggin' order. Maybe this is time that... Maybe this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Huh? I... I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. You can't agree? Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought, too, at first. Until Monokuma gave us that one little hint. That one little hint of, a, of his. Hint? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I see. Anakuma said that, did he? Then Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? Uh, but why? So in other if words... The mastermind really is the one who killed... Lukuro, as, as Kyoko says, then the mastermind would have had to set foot in the school, right? Monokuma could probably murder Lukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. In other words... But according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. <laughs> then the mastermind is... There were 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning. Add in Makuro, and we get 16. <laughs> so the mastermind would have been one of them? That's right. And of those 16 people we started with, the only ones still alive are the people standing right here. Need I continue, or do you get it now? What? You're saying the mastermind is one of us? No way! You can't be serious. Wait. We can't say for sure that's true yet. Monokuma might have just said all that to you. Indeed. Us. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among <coughs> many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. And that is a one possibility we can't ignore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're an ultimate right, the ultimate despair, so they must be a high schooler. <laughs> you can't say it's not possible, but if one of us was a mastermind, they have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But do you ever see anyone acting suspicious anytime Monokuma was active? Well, Maybe they snuck off and controlled them in secret. But I don't care how sneaky you are. We would have noticed someone sneaking off that at the time. I'm right, right? Maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way we could have had all of those back and forth conversation with us. Well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. Ding dong, bang bong! Is this the nighttime announcement? Ah, uh, this is a school announcement! Oh, this is different. You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. True ending mode? So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm? How very magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. In the name of At my this family. Point, I can rely only on myself, on the Tagami blood flowing through my veins. Hmm. I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Goodbye. Well then, after making his final statement, the Akuya left the dining hall. Yeah, master! He didn't take me with him! Hey! Can you blame him? How <laughs> master the rest of you are like coffee with cream without the cream or coffee. Yeah. You're totally useless! <sighs> so bye. With that, Toko trudged out of the dining hall. <sighs> and now she's gone. That's that's good. And you're gonna go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. It just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go by myself too. Just a second! Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity. <laughs> Clapping loud, Hero left the dining hall. Oh, he's really gonna go off by themselves? What about you, Hina? Mm. Uh, uh, I guess I'll do the same thing. Uh, I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know? But up till now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depend on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If, hadn't been, if you hadn't been here, I would have died. 
Oh, Makoto? <laughs> It's really nice of you to uh, say. Still, I know I've been totally useless, okay. so I figure at least here at the end, maybe I can find something that'll help us get out of here. So I'm gonna go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> okay, see you later. Hina was in surprise at the kind of spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. Once again, it was just us two. Indeed. Indeed. So you're gonna go off on your own too, right? However, well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're going to do our searches separately doesn't mean we can't still work together. So... That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigating doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I should just see it as it is splitting up to cover more ground. And then we get back together and share with them. Yeah, that's right. So then. Well, we better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to Correct. check. Said all the doors of the school had been unlocked, right? So we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny of the school. We can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Makoto. No matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, she was gone, leaving only me. I don't have time to waste, either. I have to begin my search. I still can't believe the mastermind might be one of us. So, what's... what? Do, so that's what I have to prove. I'll have to prove that the mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of the school. And then we can all escape together. Alright, now we're investigating. I guess I'll start by taking another look at uh, the, the file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife. They also been struck in the head with an object. The body was covered with other wounds. And once we find out who killed, then we should know who the mastermind is. So where should I start my investigation to figure out who killed her? I guess I should start with the rooms that were locked up until now. The headmaster rooms, the bio lab, and the data room. Oh, and the second floor of the dorms where the gate was down before. That should be open now too, right? After that, I'll double check the areas that are connected to the murder, which means the garden and the dojo. I should write all that down. 